Welcome back guys. It's been a while. I've been just dealing with some stuff and working on my Corollas. Uh, this video, I'm just going to be doing an overview of the things that I've recently completed on both the Corollas. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, the mod on YouTube, uh, you'll see the things that I've completed so far. I haven't made a video yet because my computer's been acting all weird and deleting my audio and I've just been super frustrated. So this video, I'm going to go over everything that I've done in the silver coupe here and the black coupe here. Let's go. So both Corolla's hoods and bonnets are open now. You can see I installed the T3 um, brake master cylinder um, heat shield. Installed my uh, oil catch can, just a simple T bracket, I mean uh, L bracket. This clears the hood fine. I actually had it higher and it wouldn't clear the hood so I lowered it. And now it looks good, it clears the hood, probably does something, I don't know. Added this filter, uh, I had a uh, OEM box that had a broken filter it was like all cracking and so I took this from my brother since he sold his 86 and then uh, got this AFM from my uncle thanks again Michael and what else have I done I put in my new oh my gosh I put in my new new old cheapo ebay shift knob to match the spin turn knob looks good i like that and coming over to the kooky coop added this afm coupler from um, I found it in the junkyard and I believe it's a GS300 one that they cut out of a box usually these are connected to a big air box and so he probably trimmed it down you can tell it's kind of trimmed and kind of funneled out this way but it fits perfectly it fits the elbow nicely I'm going to actually cut this back this way and move this this way a little bit more but everything works well the couples here, reducer to the air intake. This uh, flares out and then you clamp it there and you clamp it down. Works good, should be fine. Um, let's see, let's see if we can route this down under here. Somebody let me know if I need this or not. But this is the idea. Oh, I like that, I like that, okay. So, I'm thinking maybe putting a bung here so that it'll retain this uh, bypass um, air holes. And then um, uh, either that or putting my catch can on. And then I have my Tomei FPR here with the vacuum hooked up and the outlet line coming into the fuel pressure regulator. And then the exit down to the um, return right here nothing is clamped on yet I just need to get all mocked up and that's kind of what I did here and then I have if you look down there that's my fuel filter coming from the tank into this hose the hose comes up into the rail feeds into the rail comes into here into the fuel pressure regulator which will be set at 62 63 psi coming back to return and that's the whole fuel system vacuum will control the uh, opening of the, the fuel pressure regulator and i plan to make another l bracket here here like this and moving back this way so that this can actually sit nicely like this or at least that's the goal and it'll like that the line will just go right around the intake. I plan to use the OEM intake. Um, here's the fuel filled, I mean, uh, oil catch can for this car. I'm thinking of, about putting it right here. 
I already bought the lines. Super expensive line. I don't know why I paid. I mean, they charged me so much, but all of this came out to like 20 bucks. But I was, I was like, ah, who cares? Just buy it and get it over with. I do have my wiper harness completed already. It's a separate harness, completely separate from the engine bay harness. And um, I think that's it. Sanded down and painted this. If anybody has an extra radiator um, grommet, hit me up. And I think that's everything I've been doing. Just been doing it, taking my time, going slowly. Obviously, I'll get a new filter. And I'm thinking about getting a longer bung here. Uh, I forgot what they call these. But um, banjo boat. A longer banjo boat. Kind of like this one. That one's kind of short, so I might not have enough to clamp onto. Still got to get a battery. I'm going to run the same battery location. ECU will probably sit right here, I think. Either that or I'm going to get a smaller battery, Odyssey or something, to sit here. Run positive negative this way and have it just sitting this area. And then I'll have an ECU sitting here in this area. And then have the starter signal coming out of there. I'm going to convert this right here. This plug to the right plug and hopefully I'll be able to get that plugged up correctly there you go change that to the plug that'll work for this which I have <sighs> thinking about getting a new hose but that's it for now for the most part this was the biggest thing that I was worried about I wasn't able to find the correct clamping and hoses and adapters got that done got this picked up I mean installed mocked up and I think that's it sorry for the lack of updates I'm actually looking for a job right now too so that's a part of why I haven't been uploading. Been uh, applying every day for new jobs. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions, I know a lot of you guys hit me up on Instagram already, but if you have any questions, hit me up. I usually will try to take some time to answer them. Peace out.